What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and today we are going to have a detailed review of Xiaomi Redmi 10 a smartphone. So we will talk about its design, features, performance, battery life, camera quality and all of its pros and cons. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So first of all, if you are interested in watching the unboxing and first impression video of the Xiaomi Redmi 10 then you can visit the link given in the description below or click the one appearing at the top of the screen. Now talking about the design and build quality, this is what I love the most about this device. Even though it's an entry level budget smartphone, it gives the vibe of way better segment in terms of design. The back panel and the frame is made of plastic but the frame gives the impression of anodized aluminum frame and the back panel looks like the frosted glass. The screen is protected by Gorilla Glass 3 and the device comes with a 3.5 mm jack, an IR blaster and dual stereo speaker setup that you won't find on any other smartphone in this price segment. The screen to body ratio is quite nice and considering the fact that it comes with a huge 5000 mAh battery, it's still quite lightweight at 181 grams. Another good thing about the design of Xiaomi Redmi 10 is that it comes with a dedicated micro SD card slot and a side mounted fingerprint sensor that is quite accurate and fast enough. The only thing I did not like about the design of Xiaomi Redmi 10 is the huge camera module as it causes the wobbling while putting the device on a flat surface and the massive AI cam branding that is totally unnecessary. Talking about the display, Redmi 10 comes with a 6.5 inch full HD plus LCD screen with 405 ppi so the display is quite sharp and the 90 hertz refresh rate provides a nice viewing experience the screen is protected by gorilla glass 3 and it also comes with a screen protector pre-applied on it with 400 nits typical brightness the display is bright enough to use it outdoors on a bright sunny day under which it can go as high as around 475 nits. Talking about the performance, it comes with a MediaTek Helio G88 processor that is a budget processor from MediaTek so the performance is quite average as well. You won't feel any issue in your daily usage. The 4GB RAM is good enough for light multitasking and you will be able to play most of the games on medium graphics setting getting some nice FPS. But the sad part is that even though the device comes with a 90Hz display, the processor is not strong enough to play 90fps games on it. But still the overall performance is quite nice considering the price segment under which the device is launched and you won't feel any issue with the overall performance of the device. Talking about the battery, Xiaomi Redmi 10 comes with a 5000mAh battery with 18W charging. So considering the capacity of the battery, the charging speed is quite low and it takes nearly 2 hour 15 minutes and charging the battery from 0% to 100% in 30 minutes it will be charged from 0% to 25% only. Because of the low power hungry processor the battery life is quite nice. You will easily get around 9 hours of screen on time on Xiaomi Redmi 10 on moderate to heavy usage. It also comes with 9 watt fast reverse charging that you can use to charge your other smartphones and gadgets using the Xiaomi Redmi 10. Talking about the speakers, it comes with dual stereo speakers and the audio quality is quite nice. It is loud enough to play music, watch movies and enjoy the games as well. Talking about the software side, the device comes with Android 11 and Xiaomi's MIUI 12.5 5.7. Xiaomi's MIUI is quite feature rich software and it comes with lots of options and settings that you can use to improve your productivity while using the device. The user interface is very smooth and provides a lag free experience. Xiaomi provides lots of options that you can use to customize your user experience on the device and improve your overall productivity while using the smartphone. And now talking about the camera. It comes with 50 megapixel quad camera setup so we got a 50 MP wide angle lens, 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, 2 megapixel macro lens and 2 megapixel depth sensor. The overall imaging quality is quite average and it is not one of the highlighted feature of this device. In bright light, in outdoors, it captures good amount of details but the colors are a bit faded and the exposure is a bit less as well. The HDR works quite nicely 
and especially the performance of ultra wide angle lens is way better compared to the primary camera of Xiaomi Redmi 10. The 2 megapixel macro lens captures nice close up shots of objects in good lighting condition but the image quality reduces a lot in low light situation. The low light imaging capability of device is once again not impressive and quite average but this is where the dedicated night mode comes to rescue the situation and provides some nice captures in low light situation. Performance of the 8 megapixel front facing camera is also quite average and just like the primary camera the exposure is also low here but it captures nice portrait shots with good depth of field and the HDR on the front cam works quite okay as well. But still it is not great and you get lots of highlights. So overall camera performance of Xiaomi Redmi 10 whether it's the rear camera or the front camera the, the camera quality and output is quite average and pretty much same like other devices in this price segment. But still it is not bad considering the price segment under which the device is launched. You can record 720p HD slow motion videos at 1 FPS and the pro modes provide the option to change the various parameters while taking an image and it also supports all three primary lenses the wide angle ultra wide angle and the macro lens in the pro mode you can record only full HD resolution videos at 30 FPS and the video output is also quite average at its best so overall Xiaomi Redmi 10 is one of the best value for money a smartphone in its price segment especially because of its design build quality the additional features it provides provides like the IR blaster, dedicated micro SD card slot, dual studio speakers, 9 watt reverse charging, high screen to body ratio and the Gorilla Glass protection on the screen. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I will see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.